One day, I hope to find someone who loves me as much as Whiskers loves this pillow. Hi guys, it's Crystal and today we are going to do these Valentine's nails. These should have been posted yesterday on Valentine's Day, but there was an issue and I didn't get them posted. Details on that are in the description box. I was helping out a friend get her Valentine for her husband all set. Don't kill me. We're starting off with a base coat. My nail is a little stained, don't judge it. And then on our index finger, we're going to go in with gold. This is go for gold. It's a Sally Hansen Insta, Insta. It's a Sally Hansen Insta Dry shade. I'm leaving that in. I'm. I'm not even gonna edit that out. I like that. Um, on all your other fingers, you're then going to use Hearts on Fire from Colors by Laro. And then I'm adding a glossy top coat. I do this every time I use vinyls. If you watch my videos, you know that. I just do it because I feel like the vinyls stick better where I want them to rather than just getting stuck the first time and me not being able to reposition them if I want. I'm starting off with these hearts finals from What's Up Nails and doing the index nail because it's the easiest. We're just going to stick the vinyl on there, make sure it's stuck down really well because the points on this heart really don't come out clean unless you really make sure it's jammed down on the nail. And then we're going in with hearts on fire over that. Peel it up. Oh no. Ta-da! It's not as magic as I thought it was. Then I'm also using these love vinyls from What's Up Nails. On these, when I can't get the words out, I just flip the paper over, stick it to the back so it pulls off the inside pieces, and then use the vinyl. I'm putting this on my middle finger at kind of an angle. This was the smallest size of the word love and yet it still was almost too big for my fingers because I have tiny hands. I can't help it. I'm then using the gopher gold here again. We're going to use that for the love. We're literally just using these two colors and a bunch of nail grills. This is an easy, quick, fun Valentine's nail idea. As you see here, I got this, the go for gold on here and I'm just wiping it off with a sponge. Thanks to my quick dry top coat earlier. It makes it a lot easier to do this and not end up having to redo the entire nail there. Next, I'm going in, there are two different sizes of these heart chains. I'm going to start out with the larger size first, because I'm going to do my pointer first. I'm going to take these and kind of angle them in from left to right, just kind of going downward. If my voice is cracking a little, I'm sorry. I have a bit of a sore throat. I think I'm getting a cold. I'm trying to contain it, but it's not working. I'm smishing these down really well because these have these really tiny things. Tiny things. They have really, really tiny lines. I could probably be a lot more professional than I ever am. Once I got those on though, I'm going in with the go for gold over the entire thing. I decided to do it this way rather than trying to put the little tiny hearts on and pulling them up because this is just so much easier. And I originally tried this on one nail. This is the second time I'm doing this nail. When I originally tried it, I was just, just filling in the hearts and I didn't really like how that looked. I didn't like just the three hearts side by side. Then you kind of got to peel this up slowly and gently to make sure it keeps those nice clean lines. And I'm going to do clean up off camera because I think this video is going to be pretty long if I did all the clean up on camera. Next, I'm going to take the little ones and you can see here better how they were two different sizes. 
and I'm doing these on the pinky. I'm gonna angle these the opposite of the direction I did them on my pointer finger. And there's nothing on my thumb. I left my thumb as just hearts on fire. That's it, just a plain red burgundy thumb. And just doing the same exact thing, going in with that go for gold and coating the entire thing. I really made a mess of my cuticles on these ones, but it cleaned up pretty well, so I have that going for me. And then these smaller ones, you have to be super careful when you peel up because you could definitely end up ruining the design. But there you see, it worked out. It's beautiful. The last step, of course, is to go in on all the nails and add a glossy top coat. I think these turned out really beautifully. I loved them. It took me I'd say 45 minutes even with filming each step to do this entire manicure which is really great because it's a quick cute fun thing you could have you could even change the colors do this for a date night or something like it doesn't have to be Valentine's Day and there you have it as I said earlier the thumb is still just the hearts on fire I really liked the color and I didn't feel like I had enough of it so when I realized how much gold was covering it up I just left my thumb as the hearts on fire so that I had a little more of it in the mani. Now, as promised, the winner of the Bundle Monster Valentine set giveaway is Olga Sanchez. She was chosen out of all the entries by their random thingy selector on the Raffle Copter site. So I will be contacting you and getting your prize out this week. For anyone who didn't win, don't be discouraged. There are more giveaways coming up on Instagram and on here. As usual, if you like this video, hit subscribe so you get my notifications. Give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time.